Hey, what's up? What's up, man? What's up, friend? <clears throat> I just woke up like an hour ago. How much? Yeah. You know, yeah, so I see all the uh, Medicare posts, all that kind of stuff. Well, and I love all the people in the replies are like, oh, now that he said that, I'm going to feel really good when the January 6th committee screws him. Like, as if these people don't all hate us already, you know? And they're also like, oh, well, when people start reporting him, then he can't complain. Reporting me, I'm being investigated by the FBI, you dipshit. I'm I a <laughs> platform because I'm banned from literally everything. I'm banned from every processor every bank i can't fly on a plane you know they come out they're like well well it's just gonna be real hypocritical you can't complain when people do things to you everything literally everything has already been done to me and they know that and but honestly most of them have cheered it on for years and in many cases are a part of it so I'm with Ralph, you know, it's like each, you know, I, that's why when Ralph was on stream the other day, puffing on a cigar and saying like, fuck you, bitch, I'm for your fucking faggot. It's like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Same energy. <laughs> so true. Well, they're full of shit, dude. Like they, they're constantly doing dirty shit. It's like I said, with the, with yeah. the false rape allegation, like you're literally spreading a false rape allegation. And again, I'm not promoting violence, but that's a thing that, you know, gets people riled up, right? Like, there's people that's gotten hurt for doing stuff like that in real life. And you're sitting there just mm-hmm. playing with a man's life, and he literally goes on air, oh, because I think it's funny. I think it's funny. It's like, oh, what? What? You think that type, that type of shit's funny? And then, but a DMCA is like, oh, my God, this guy is the worst villain of all time while you spread fake rape allegations. Like, well, yeah, it's so funny. You know, it's not people go, oh, well, you know, well, Medicare didn't do that, or like Flamenco didn't do that. It's it's about this culture that they create where, I mean, they're part of that whole community, the drama community, the Kiwi Farms shit. And that go and we all know that goes on. If you're a live streamer, if you're, you know, what they would consider a quote unquote lol cow or whatever, we all know that it's a no holds barred, like you said, it's rape allegations, dox your whole family, swat everyone on the platform. And then you retaliate, and it's like, hmm, all these slanderous lies. Yeah, let's report the stream. Let's report it, whatever, which I don't do the DMCA, but I've done – I report people all the time. I did it on Twitter. I did it on YouTube. I do it all the time. Um, and it's a level playing field. I'm banned from everything. You're going to have access to YouTube and be able to spread malicious harassment in a malicious gossip? I don't think so. Um, but, but, again, it goes back to they want to be able to – do whatever they want. They're going to harass you. And then they're going to say, Oh, you know, bad things happen to you. Well, I didn't, I didn't do that. I had nothing to do with that. You retaliate in any way. And then suddenly, Oh my gosh, that's against the rules, but you can't, you can't DMC. I'm supposed to be able to talk shit all day and not have any consequences. Like you can, and, and that's like Medicare is the king of that because he's the king of being a faggot because he's going to sit there and pretend like he's so above it all. So aloof, uh, well, you're not above it all, you know, and you're not. And how does it feel then? It's not you're not so aloof then when Flamenco is going to DMCA or whatever. Uh, you know, you're you're part of that scene, too. So I think that whole that whole M.O. is super to me. It's super cringe. Like, he doesn't even have his face out there. Doesn't even have his face out there, his name out there. But he's going to go on a stream and holier than that. Oh, this person's that this person's this spread gossip, whatever. Uh, and then he can act like he's so above it all. You're not above it all, pal. You're a fucking loser. Yeah, and if we're being honest, he's kind of throwing shade um, your way. Like, I've seen him, like, catboy stuff and, like, snipe. You know what I mean? Like, just snide shit for no reason. Like, I mean, I I don't know. I guess it's just his M.O. to, like, pick – you know what I mean? Like, pick shit out Mm -hmm. and try to – Act like he's the ultimate commentator um, while he's literally got dirt and, you know, his closet is full. Let's just, let's just put it that way. Um, and he's, he's like, supposed to be this figure. His fan base acts like you can never touch him. You can never say anything critical about this guy whatsoever. You should be burned at the stake. We should swatch you. We should dig up everything about your family. And, I mean, I don't know. It's just... I would have more respect, and he and he's been focusing on me every single day for months. 
every little tweet, yeah. lying about me, mm-hmm. just making up flat out falsehoods every single day. And then when you say anything, it's like, oh, rage pick. Oh, he's crazy. Oh, no, it's not crazy. You're a fucking nut, obsessive fuck who's been fucking with me every single day. And he does the same thing to Baked Alaska and has before. Um, mm-hmm. And so, and again, that type of shit, it's a thing that he does to get his kicks. And honestly, I participated in it before. I said this on air the other day. It's like Jim sets this shit up and, like, gets these mobs going. And he does it for his own, like, personal aggrandizement. Like, that's literally what it's about. Uh, and it's a sham. Well, yeah. and ultimately, too, it's like these people – are incapable of making any content where they're just not like shit talking and lying and spreading infor- like misinformation about people. Like they're fucking boring outside of that context. The only, the only reason anybody like anybody watches these people is just because they're fucking shit stirs. Like ultimately. So whenever they DCMA hits and they're like, Oh, well I, I'm paying consequences for my actions and I can't do this anymore. Then like they freak out and they panic and they cry fucking bloody murder. Cause they like, ultimately they're fucking boring and they're unentertaining outside of this fucking shit stir that they, they produce like and, and like this whole idea of um like this like level playing field or whatever i don't know i didn't sign up whenever i started streaming i wasn't like i vow i will never dmca someone else i, I, I pledge the allegiance to the tos for which it stands like what the fuck fuck you man like you people have doxed my family i had to walk out fucking my house like two weeks ago with like 10 air 15s pointed at me for fucking interviewing andrew anglin like fuck you man like like, you, fuck, you fucking saw You were talking about thin skinned? You're crying about a fucking video getting taped down on the internet, you fucking, like, no face pussy. Yeah, it's just like this chortling. It's like this smug, chortling, fake laugh bullshit. Like, ha 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 ha. Uh, it's not funny. You know, it's not, it's not that funny. And by the way, Medicare sucks. Like, he was funny, I would say, like, four or five years ago. Everybody knows he's fallen off. Everybody knows his content is shit now. And the guy's never been funny. He's like a Gen X nihilist, atheist, faggot. And the internet just isn't what it was years ago, okay? The the Zoomers run the internet. It's about real human beings, about authenticity. This, like... You know, again, it, it's just all this like fake posturing, the the self righteousness. Oh, please, you know. And he harassed Baked Alaska for years. Harassed Baked Alaska. He's harassed you, everybody. Uh, and then again, you know, you you throw a little shit back their way, and then suddenly we're gonna pretend like this is about ethics, is about like morality. Give me a break. And and by the way. You know, people on like Kino Casino or whatever. The one guy literally has a picture of his fucking testicles on the internet, which, you know, we could pull that up. Uh, probably, I don't want that on Cozy, but I mean, this guy literally <laughs> has his fucking cock, balls, and ass on the internet. Andy Worski's a drug addict. And then you get Medicare, who uh, is an atheist, like, libertarian skeptic lol cows i mean these people are all just like bottom feeding like literal bottom of the barrel scum of the internet and and honestly they're not even relevant anymore these are all this is like the zombie seriously andy warski you remember warski live years ago you know, Medicare years ago. It's just like zombie internet. And America First is going to put these faggots out of their fucking misery. That's what's going to happen. Friday, 8 o'clock, America First puts the Gen X faggot internet out of its misery. Why are they so salty towards you, though? Literally, you talked about it like... It, they're just jealous. Like, there's no other explanation, really, that I can find. Like, I just don't... I don't, know. I don't even... I don't know who the fat kid is. I don't even know who he... I mean, like, I don't know where he came from or what his story is. Obviously, I know Worski from years ago. Um, but no, I, I don't know what it is. Because Worski... You know, we have to say thank you to Worski for basically making me famous in the first place. You know, because it was on Worski Live that we had so many of the legendary America first moments. So, you know, I, I don't know what happened between then and now, I guess it just became like, again, cheap and easy content to talk shit yeah. about America first. Like, I guess that's really all there is. All right. So Friday, 9 PM Eastern, by the way, I'm glad because I've got a big debate on Saturday night, uh, which I was going to still have to do, uh, even if that was live. So it's going to be on Friday, 9 PM Eastern, uh, more info coming soon. Shout out to Michael Alberto, uh, by the way, putting this together. It's going to be on Cozy uh, on his channel, Cozy.tv slash Michael Alberto. Things hitting warp speed here on Tequila Sunrise. Picked up. Business picked up. Um, now, let's see here. 
what I see his first response was meow. He basically had to be bullied into into taking this. Um no, I'm sitting here. Now, was there ever a part of you that thought maybe you wouldn't say these things about Medicare? Um, that uh, he's, like, untouchable? Because I know his audience has that mentality. Like, this guy can't be criticized. Um, he, he's going to end you. Know, he's going to end you. It's, yeah. it's, it's no, Jim. I'm not Generation X, so <laughs> I really, well, I'm not a fucking gay millennial, so I don't really play by those rules, you know. Um, well, you know, I had Medicare on my show years ago, and I never really had a problem with him personally. Right. Um, but I, honestly, he's a little bit before my time. It's just a little too <laughs> old for me, basically, because... I mean, by the time I got started, he was basically on his way out. I think he fell off around like 2018 or something like that's kind of when I was getting started. So, um, so yeah, it's just, uh, and, and this is another, he's another one of these guys that bought into like COVID and everything else. Like clearly the guy just doesn't fucking get it, you know? Um, so I, I don't see it that way. I don't know. I don't know the lore on all that, but, um, no, I just think that his whole his whole mo is is cringe. I never found him funny. I never found the internet drama to be entertaining. I think it's just like lowest common denominator stuff, and he's kind of like king of the retards, is how I see it. Yeah, I think that's a that's a pretty fair way to describe it. Uh, and then once he and it's it's clear it's like I stopped. You know, we had our big thing or whatever a couple months ago, and then I stopped talking about it. It's like all right, whatever. You know, we had it out. Uh, and then the guy's just going at you daily. He's trying to he riles up this you know nest of retards to fuck with you all the time. He knows he's doing it right, like he's doing it on purpose. And then when you respond, it's oh my god, pathetic. Rock off dmca let's cry about that um so yeah i don't know it's just he knows what he's doing and then it's cry bully basically is what it is um yeah so i don't know <clears throat> friday yeah, okay we're we're over it we're over it this is streamers streamers are fighting back okay this is the year <laughs> when streamers fight back against the drama faggots and against the pc and all of it this is the year we're coming back in a big way um, yeah, cause it's just, I'm, I'm just like over it, you know, all the concern trolling and how it started the concern trolling over, Oh, this DMCA takedown or whatever. It's like, shut the fuck up. Who cares? You know? And this, this is like, we've been swatted for the past three weeks. Right. And people are having guns pointed at them. Kai's put his hands up on the live stream and we're under it. Literally people are trying to kill us. Like that's attempted murder. Oh, but oh, oh, a DMCA takedown. Oh, this violates the Geneva Convention. Arrest him. Arrest him. He violates the DMCA claim. Give me a break. It's like these people are so full of shit. They hate us anyway. Fuck <laughs> you. We hate you. You're atheist. You're going to hell anyway. Does that guy even have cancer? I know I've seen you Dude. debate with him. What the, we've been waiting for this fucking guy to die for years, right? <laughs> <laughs> like the slowest cancer of all time. Like, what the? Could you not get the one that kills you quicker, motherfucker? Like, which cancer do you have? Like, I don't even understand that shit. Now, are you gonna bury him with respect on Friday night? Is it gonna be a respectful ceremony, or is it gonna be a little more? Well, I don't know. It it uh, depends. Depends on how you know how things begin. I'll be interested to see how that plays There's out. There's two but different ways to go. Go on and say what's that. Two different ways it could go, right? You could bury him with respect, right? Uh, send him off in a, in a nice way, tribute, uh, right? Sing a, sing a peaceful song after he goes, and then there's uh, violently put him in the ground, you know? Yeah, something like that. But uh, <laughs> how about, did Coach Red Pill really die in Ukraine? I think he might actually be dead is what I'm starting to think. Uh, I'm hoping that's the case. That is at least. hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping at least. Now, what kind of dumbass, by the way, again, I'm pro-Russia, obviously, but um, he's sitting in Ukraine going on RT News talking all this shit about Zelensky. They know where he is, by the way. He's not a. He's not like, as far as I know, he doesn't have any Russian special services backing him or anything either, and he's just sitting in Kharkiv, Kharkiv or whatever, and just talking his ass off, talking all this shit. If I was the Ukrainians, I would definitely have him killed. Like, I mean, there's no, there's no way around it, right? Would you not? Right? Like, I would definitely have him killed and just don't hear from Coach Redford anymore, right? 
Uh, so, you gotta flee, you gotta flee the so country funny. first before you Why do did that, he flee? He had, doing? Well, he had a chance to. Remember that time they chased him out of the hotel like a month or a month and a half ago? Because he was in one of these hotels talking shit about Ukraine and they started getting worked up. There was like a mob going to beat him up and shit. So he got it chased out of there. But, you know, and I thought he was going to leave the country, but, you know, he didn't. He might be. He might be staying there permanently, if you know what I mean. Coach down on the ground. Pill, yeah. like, am I right? Yeah. I remember you talking yeah, to Coach Red Pill many years ago, actually. I remember driving around town, and uh, the Kumite, I used to, used to actually want to listen to that during the day. And it was you versus Coach Red Pill, and I had to go do something, and I plugged in my phone so I could listen to it in the car. And it was Coach Red Pill, and he was, he was trying to, he was trying to, like, he was getting his ass kicked, and then... He tried to like beg for mercy, basically, and started like saying how great you were and what a young talent you were, and how he thought the sky was the limit. And then Nick just goes, "I think you're a piece of shit. <laughs> I think you're garbage. I don't think anything good about you. I think you're a piece of trash." <laughs> he just uh, kicked him right in the face. I was like, "Oh my god!" I just died laughing in the car. Like, that's so cack. That fucking hilarious. Like the heel yeah, he begging for mercy. Shit. Twitter right up until he fucking died. Yeah, no. Yeah, he was. He was talking shit hilarious. about me. Yeah, a couple months ago. Um, you know, I think he would expect me to do this. I said that earlier. He would expect me to piss on his grave. So he knows. <laughs> he, knows. he knows what it is. He knows what it is. Mm. Pour one out for poor that's Gonzalo. Funny. We'll see. You know what? If he pops up, I'll laugh about that too, for sure. Um, so we'll see if he... If he made it out, I don't know. It's conflicting reports. Yeah, it could be an elaborate hoax. You know, it could be. You, you hear that kind of shit all the time. He's into know? that kind of stuff, dude, quite honestly. You know what I mean? Some kind of fake uh, fall mm-hmm. off the map type shit. So we'll see, yeah. we'll see what happens on that. Yeah. But, yeah, man, I'm glad you I'm glad you popped on here. I don't know if you have any thoughts, um, plans the rest of the week. What are you going to talk about tonight on America First? Um, I don't know. I haven't even really checked the news or anything. Um, but let me see what, what even happened. Yeah. Like I said, I just woke up basically. <laughs> yeah. There's not really much going on. Kind of a slow day. It looks like, huh? On the news front, but not slow on, on uh, this front. On the drama. Front. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> slow on the news. There's, uh, <laughs> hang on. I saw this. Um, hang on. Let me, Pull it up. Do you have a well, what's his Twitter again? What's the Ralph Twitter? Uh, the Ralph retort. Or the Ralph. Ralph the uh, what's his name? Uh, Medicare. Oh, quarantined Koof is his Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. What a yeah, he's great, tweeting what a great about handle, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Quarantined Koof. Yeah, that was funny. And then what is it even funny? Like two years ago, but it's from two years ago. <laughs> he goes. Uh, he goes. Are they having a group therapy session already? Damn. The stream isn't even until this weekend. It's like that's not funny, you fucking faggot. <laughs> therapy session it's like literally marvel avengers humor i literally i think they literally made that joke in fucking spider-man or something <laughs> well that's like that's the, like the bit now it's been the bit for like 10 years and now these like fucking moron faggots have realized they're like oh, i'm gonna say they're upset and then i'll look superior and uh, they'll look like they're mad and then i win it's like no shut up you're a fucking faggot we're talking shit about you because you're a fucking dumb idiot Plus, it just isn't even funny i like who is who is out there what midwit Again, millennials are out there pretending that's funny. Group therapy session, really, nigga? Do you hear that on fucking iCarly? Like, that's not funny. <laughs> well, it's just like it's the same shit. What? Oh, because you hopped on a stream? Like, he hop- well, he used to hop on streams all the time. Now I guess they have to be an approved ball washer, um, like Monday Matt or something like that. But uh, I guess I'll give him credit. We'll see this Friday if he actually shows up um, to the Alberto thing. But uh, – what happens there? Um, yeah, and it'll be fun. I think it'll be a good stream. It'll be good content. I think so, guaranteed. too. I think so, too. Uh, 9 p.m. Friday night. It's the perfect time, too, honestly, uh, for everybody to see it or as many people as possible uh, to see it. Uh, and I think it's been, a, it's been a long time in the making uh, as well. I'm still going down his Twitter here. Uh, looking for Your time stuff. is up, bitch. I'm the new internet aristocrat. I'm <laughs> the new number one. <laughs> this is my town now, bitch. I see that he posted that clip this morning. Uh, I'll play that. Of course, they they he posted it like, uh, and he even said this like that you were you were mad that he clipped this out. 
uh, that he clipped us out of the stream last night, which, I mean, I know you're not, but I'll play yeah, it. I report, but like, when, when, like, people are shitting on me, I report their streams. I report everything they have to try and get them banned. And I just think that's, like, fair. Because they, you know, it's like, I agree with you. Swatting is, that's like trying to kill somebody. So, like, yeah, it's a type yeah. of murder. But, like, you know, D, you know, this is that kind of gay to be well, like, DMCA, DMCA, DMCA strike. that's not fair. A, like, DMCA, a, a DMCA strike is not okay. the same as reporting okay, well, somebody yeah. because the DMCA oh, Strike so he clipped that, and he's like, oh, how thin-skinned are they over there while they spread, you know, fake rape allegations? They tried to, they've tried. they literally been trying to get me put in jail, and they do the same thing to Baked. Like, oh, is this violation of his probation, or is this a violation of suspended sentence, and how can we get this guy put in jail? Like, they do literally everything imaginable and get their people hyped up to do that, and then... It's like, oh, we didn't do that. Like, Flamingo did that yesterday. Oh, I didn't I didn't say that about him. What do you mean? Like, what's going on? I didn't do that. Oh. Just, uh... Yeah. Kind of gay. Yeah, it is gay. It's strange. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, we'll see what happens. What do you think about yeah, Stardust? Just, like... By the way, hold hmm? on. What do you think about Stardust, by the way? I saw she was getting some kudos. Uh, for her panels this weekend, and uh, Big Dan, Big Dan came through this weekend. <laughs> Big Dan, do you know who that is, or is that? <laughs> no, I've never seen that guy before in my life. Actually, okay. uh, no. yeah, what the fuck was that? That was that was <laughs> they, dude, this this whole sphere is just like it's cancerous, honestly. <laughs> like, Stardust. I mean, this is just like a it's, come on now. I mean, she's like not very bright at all, and this like this cast of characters she brings on it's like the <laughs> underworld it's like she brings on this uh what was that gay guy's name who was on there the other day jangles Jangus. or whatever yeah, like, where the fuck did they even find these people jangles <laughs> and fat dan and uh, that canadian guy like and then and then that other cretin with the action figure what the hell is that i mean that guy oh, literally yeah. looked like he looked like that guy that did the we you know what in that video <laughs> like, literally looked exactly yeah. like that guy he was making the same like faces. Funko pop, dude. <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. No, I didn't see. I didn't even know you hopped on there last night. I I left because I was like, dude, I can't deal with these fucking people anymore. They're fucking like cretins. They're monsters, man. Like they're awful. Like if I if I ever get in any sort of position of authority, I would I would put them them in prison for like being just so disgusting and vile to look at. Like they're awful people. I can't stand it, man. Yeah, they're they're uh, scum. Toxic waste dump. Then that Jangles dude was mad because it was Easter. Clearly, he hates Christ and just, like, God in general. Uh, yeah. And he was amped up the whole time with really no provocation about confronting people about Christianity. And you could feel it. Like, he was, like, tensed up, actually tensed up, like, oh, like that about it. Um, what do you think about people? I've seen people like that before that are just so, like, like they feel like God hurt them or they have to prove something about it i don't know it's just it's kind of annoying yeah they're uh it's it's real i mean that guy literally is um he got mad you know like he got mad because clearly there's like you know <laughs> there's baggage there there's so there's yeah. some kind of issue there it probably has to do with him being gay you know yeah. or maybe there's more to it than that but i mean yeah he was pissed off and like activated because it was easter and uh you know these uh these science people are just E. Michael Jones said it best. It's like a darkened mind. You know, you do you do hedonism and degeneracy for your whole life, and then uh, and you get these people screeching. Like at one point, his argument was, "Why didn't the Bible predict the internet?" Like at that point, it just <laughs> isn't a serious person. You know, this is a person who's just defending to the death, out of desperation, the uh, you know the vice and his uh, sick pleasures. So it's a person, but it's a personal thing, you know, and uh, somebody that's that invested, they've invested their life in like being a gay male. <laughs> you, know? you see why it would be upsetting if they were told like, hey, like God is real and you're going to pay for everything. <laughs> you're going to pay. <laughs> You'll pay. You know, it's kind of upsetting, I'm sure. By the way, uh, Medicare put out a new tweet. He said, uh, quoting you, I just woke up. And he says, Nick, and he instantly ran to the internet ass hurt, LMFO, which that is another pathetic response because first off he was the one who was ass hurt in the first place uh who, who put all that stuff out there 
Uh, and then you yeah, didn't he tweet about it all night and all day today? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> First thing he did was start tweeting about this shit. He made several tweets about it. So it's just like another absurd. FAO is literally like a fucking tranny tactic. Like, are you are you laughing your fucking ass off, or do you just type that to be like this? He's like that green shirt, like that green polo shirt guy. You remember from that uh, meeting in California that the left turned that into like some kind of. Uh, they turned like a viral clip that like faggot with the mustache and the green shirt laughing at that meeting. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It's like the same energy of like, like what? What's the punchline here? N- Nick is mad. He said he just woke up. Hey, hey, he's mad. Like you're fucking tweeting at me all day and all night. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Yeah, LMFAO. I'm laughing my ass off, though, at how hilarious that is. Oh, fucking hilarious, dude. Yeah. He's, and by the way, he's literally live tweeting this stream. <laughs> yeah. Jim, hope you die, faggot. You're literally watching this right now, you bitch. He's literally live tweeting this. He went, you know, he's online all night and all day and then tunes into the stream and then live tweeting it. <laughs> hey guys, he just said this. LMAO, he's so mad right now. Dude, get a life. By the way, yeah, please clap. Literally, yeah. Yeah. I found the picture. It's up there Uh, on the screen. There's this gem. Holy shit. That fits so well. Uh, That's his face when he puts out another banger. Another banger tweet. Uh, There. Yeah, are we going to get another banger here? Is he gonna grab no, this no, with another hilarious another? banger? What is it gonna be? Group therapy. Uh, <laughs> I like this one. Will this be unlike a Nick stream? So it'll actually start when scheduled. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. you're, 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 you sh- your show is late sometimes. Oh, <laughs> group therapy. Oh, uh, and then this one. Uh, it'll be like Daniel and Lions that with Cowboys. Oh, <laughs> yeah, boy, Joe, dude, dude, I'm just, I'm going to retire just now. I can't, dude, I can, this is the internet aristocrat we're talking about. I can't handle the banter. I can't handle this hilarious banter. Hang on, the next, the next week, I'm going to predict it. I'm going to be like Nostradamus. I'm going to be the internet Nostradamus. The next week to be <laughs> reading my, my tweets live on stream. He must be seething. <laughs> <L-M-A-O. laughs> He literally did that one to me the other day, by the way. While he was live tweeting my stream, so I started commenting on that. He's like, Ralph Seething, Ralph just absolutely lost his mind right now. He's reading through my tweets. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay. Clearly. Yeah. It just isn't funny. I don't know who, like, this kind of content literally appeals to millennials. Honest to God. It's like Jon Stewart, like Stephen Colbert tier, just like these drive-by, like, cheap snipes, like low-hanging fruit, cheap snipes. Like, that's not funny. They're having a group therapy session, like, oh, okay, fucking Jon Stewart Jew. Like, this is not (laughs) funny. It's like millennial Comedy Central tier humor. Uh, And, you know, that's why the guy still is on, like, YouTube and Twitter, you know, all the cool, all the actually funny people who are not like owned by the system are not still on Twitter, you know? Well, well, a couple exceptions. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except for you. Except for you. You're awesome. <laughs> well, yeah, I'll have to say there are a couple of notable uh, exceptions, but uh, no, I mean, he's even still on YouTube. The rap for male. That's right. They're afraid to yeah. throw me off. They know what will happen. Uh, but he is, <laughs> he is, <laughs> he's still on YouTube with his verified channel and everything. Um, and, you know, he won't step out of pocket because he knows what will happen. Uh, over there and so I don't know uh, by the way I wonder if he'll actually send out a tweet now or if we bullied him out of out of live I hope not I hope we don't take those you know there's only he's only got so much time left I want him to keep those pleasures in life still uh, I don't want to <laughs> affect his quality of life I know he gets a lot of joy out of watching my show and live tweeting about it especially recently so uh, I don't want to dissuade him too much we're just playing around Jim if you want to keep live tweeting we'll We'll pull it up and uh, talk about it. I think. 
<laughs> Dude, that green shirt guy, that is just like the picture perfect. That absolutely minimizes like his whole fucking career. But, but like in that the prey eyes, it's like the expression in the eyes. Yeah. You know, it's like this this contrast between the forced <laughs> laugh and then like the eyes that, the that show, you know, what's really going on. That's like your career in one picture. I'm gonna end your career and then you're gonna die from cancer. So it's like that's and that will be your life. What's his? He's just oh, gonna God. die right after. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling my shot. I'm calling my shot. <laughs> it's gonna be like What's his YouTube just, channel though. What is it? I don't even know where he, where his content is. This is gonna be like in the sub armor where he just goes beep. You're just gonna hear. You're just gonna hear that in the background. <laughs> I'm too weak. I'm too weak. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, his channel, I think it's under Mr. Medica, right? I, th- I believe so. Um, I can't find it. I'm looking. I want because I want to watch his content. I'm. I, by the way, I'm just glad that I don't have to pretend he's funny anymore. Because I remember there was a time when he was around and like I had to pretend to be like, oh yeah, no, we, we love Medica. It's like. I never thought this guy was funny. Come well, on. Yeah, I can't post. It's not showing on search Here, results. I'll, let me see it. if I can find it. <laughs> it is like sure. a little bit spelled. Um, I think it might have a space or something. Let me see. Oh, here we go. I got oh, it. you got it? Okay, yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised this channel's not named something like Soyjack9000 Mad C Cope. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Fucking uh, quarantined coof. What a fucking retarded yeah, name. Quarantine <laughs> coof. Dude, it's so fucking cringe, dude. You're so over. Quarantine coof. By the way, he yeah, acted. The guy literally still, didn't he yeah. say on a debate with you, he's like, five million dead isn't a big deal, Ethan, when he's talking about COVID. It's like, yeah. And it's literally a fucking generational thing. Like, you're a fucking brain dead, John Stewart guzzling, faggot millennial, okay? Yeah, and he acted like that was some kind of, you know, oh, my God, how dare I bring that up. Actually, he was a, a fear monger and a scare monger, the likes of which, uh, I don't know, it was hard to find anybody out there like him going so crazy about it. And lockdowns, he got on a debate with Dick Masterson, supported those. He still supported those just two months ago when I had him on stream. Didn't, didn't recant a single word. Um, and so, I don't know, the guy's... You know, and I saw people like, oh, Ralph's blaming him for personally locking it down. It's like, well, no, but, I mean, can he not own up to those, you know, what he did participate in? Like, it's, I don't know. It's bullshit. Yeah. But then he's like, oh, it's his aloof thing, though, right? Like, he just plays it off. Like, wow, you actually care about that or, or something? Uh, like, and then he keeps, that's another thing. He, he attacks everybody else personally, uh, uses their name, uh, uses all their stuff. But if you talk about him, you talk about the stuff that's out there about him. Oh, all of a sudden it's life ruination. That was, that was the thing he was trying to spread around life ruination tactics. It's like, dude, what the fuck? Like we're getting swatted all the time. Guns in our face. Fucking, you know, you're scheming, trying to get people put in jail and shit. And you're talking about life ruination. Like. No. Oh, here we go. We got another banger. Oh, do we? Oh, a banger. Lie. Oh, God. He blessed us. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Are you watching this? Of course. A cat and a pig. It's oh, like wow. the zoo. Oh, another banger. Wow. <laughs> wow. God, I hope he doesn't get banned on Twitter. It's going to be like, let's go Brandon or something. <laughs> <laughs> and the millennials laughed and laughed and laughed. Oh, they're laughing that one. What does that even mean? I'm surprised he's not like, oh, this, this stream's like Charlotte's <laughs> Web right now, guys. Who's the spider? <laughs> oh, I yeah. get it. He's coming. I'm the cat. You're the pig. It's, yeah. it's like a freaking zoo out here. <laughs> 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 nigga, shut the fuck up, you unfunny millennial nigga. He's like, he's like the funny die. guy in the office, you know? He's like, the, <laughs> hey, 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 John, tell him that joke you heard earlier. <laughs> yeah, that's him. Spread the email He's chains like that and shit. Friend group who's always trying to be funny and like cracking jokes and then laughing at them. I mean, it's like that. You, you can't even like make fun of the jokes. It's like sitcom humor. This is like a fucking everybody loves Raymond episode. <laughs> of course, cat and a pig. It's like a zoo out here. Laugh track, laugh track. Ah. It's like, dude. Like your era of the internet is fucking over, dude. It's over. Give it up. You suck. You fell off. 
Sneed, fuck you, we hate you, fine God. You're watching the stream, suck my dick. And by the way, Ralph Amell always wins. Ralph Amell. Yo, if there's anyone you really shouldn't attack on the internet, it's Ralph Amell, I think. Well, you see where Coach Red Pill yeah, DMCA you. Uh, yeah, Coach Red Pill attacked Ralph, and then he got killed by Russia. So, yeah, he's uh, sleeping with the fishes now. And Medicare is going to literally die after the stream on Friday night. Just to keel over. From embarrassment. Yeah, it's over. If he puts so out another over. tweet, he might it die if he puts out another years tweet. Years ago, though, frankly. That's actually one of the lamest tweets I think I've ever seen. He might just keel over before then. I don't know. That's. Is he trying to be lame? Is that the joke? Am I missing it here? Or like, I'm, I'm oh, so, here I'm, hang, on, hang on, another banger, okay, okay, another okay. banger. <laughs> he's, he's literally live tweeting the stream, suck my dick. Doubt that's the first time he said that to a guy. Is that like a, that's what she said? <laughs> that's what she said. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, Medicare. <laughs> and the millennials laughed and laughed. Oh man, millennials are in stitches over this. Wow, he's killing it, man. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. And are you reconsidering? Are you reconsidering accepting to this now? No, this is kind of terrifying. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I can't. This banter this is win. legendary. This win is the off the charts here. Yeah. I'm, this is a 100 boss right here. <laughs> <laughs> Between the cat and pig thing and now, and now this. And now that's what he said. I just can't keep up. I can't keep up with this guy. <laughs> Next oh like, that's, that's not what your mom said last night. <laughs> Am I right, guys? <laughs> oh, man. Jeez. This is disappointing, honestly. I expected better. Every, yeah, because you're right. Everybody's like, oh, you can't attack Medicare. Yeah, oh, yeah. These good, I don't like fist faggots will attack you. It's like, this is really, this is it? <laughs> this is what we got here? Uh, this yeah, sucks. well, this I was. This sucks. I was doing your girlfriend, bro, so, uh, sorry. Wait, you don't have one. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, they do. His, his, like, oh, my gosh, dude. His people treat him like he's, like, this untouchable guy. Um, and why? For what reason? What does he earn? You know, what the status was bestowed to him, right? Like, this guy's a fucking faggot. You said he was the king faggot. Is that what you called him earlier? Then? <laughs> the king faggot or something like that. I mean, that's literally what he is. And he just sits around. He's just catty all the time. Holier than thou. He's washed. Yeah. It's like. The internet arista fag. Washed. You were funny eight years ago. Washed. Yeah, you know how old I was eight years ago? I was 15, bitch. Get a new joke. Get a new bit. Quarantine poof. Get a new bit, faggot. Washed. Literally washed. Find God. He should find God quick. He's about to be burning in hell forever. Uh, you know, you can, you can change your handle on Twitter, by the way. Like, you don't yeah. have to st stick with that fucking lame joke for two years. <laughs> yeah, right? Seriously. And it just reminds oh, people how boy. wrong he was about about it too um i don't know why he doesn't change he's, it. he's too above it all to change his ad he's like oh I, I won't bother i'll just stick with this lame joke for two years yeah well he pretty much stuck by what he said like i said when i had him on stream a couple months ago and i was like do you disavow any of that stuff you said do you still in favor of lockdowns and he said yes so i mean i don't know i know some people who took that position who recanted it right or whatever changed their mind but uh you know, he's got – he literally said he can't leave the house uh, because he might get sneezed on and die. Like, that's literally what he I, – I made that as a joke. And then he went on stream and said, yes, he actually can't leave his house because his immune system's so weak that uh, he might catch a cold and die. Maybe he should touch grass, bro, you know. If he tried touching grass, that'd be a funny joke. Well, it might be his last trip outside. You know, I, I support it. Actually, I think he should. Uh, I think he should go take a walk, go to a baseball game or something. <laughs> Hang on, I'm getting doxxed right now. By the, or I'm, I mean, swatted right now. No so shit. Let me, let me let me call the police back. I'll go be ahead. back in like five minutes. But this is okay. That's just this example. Is literally. This is literally exactly what we're talking about. They're going to cry about DMCA, and then this is going on. Please. We get doxxed, and we fucking eat bullets for breakfast. You get a DMCA, and you go on Twitter and cry. Well, I mean, oh, you're not funny. Desperately calling the fucking police. Who's that? Was that you? 
Yeah, uh, that was me. Okay, yeah. I'm not getting swatted. It's just my mom. Yeah, literally. So, um, so anyway, yeah. Give me like, yeah, give me like ten minutes. That's but yeah, cool. I mean, literally, just goes to show. This is this is. Oh, they're DMCAing. Swatted. Oh, but we're the ones crying. You woke up and chose ass her. Oh yeah, we said you weren't funny and you called the fucking police on me. So yeah. All right, but I'll be back. Yeah, in just like pop back in. Yeah, whatever you need. Uh, I'll put the link out there again. Not even surprised, dude. Honestly, not even surprised. And they've been spending, you know, the last week saying, "Oh, we don't, we don't have anything to do with that." While they were laughing, putting out the clips of me getting swatted, saying it was funny, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, we have nothing to do with that. Yeah, okay, of course, of course. Mysteriously, yeah, they're not getting swatted. Like, it's really easy to just feel like, "Oh, yeah, I've got nothing to do with it. I just spend every waking second of my life attacking you, yeah. and, and talking shit about you." And, no, but I've got nothing to yeah. do with anything that's going on. Yeah, it's like okay. Well, it's absurd, dude. Yeah, it doesn't even make any fucking yeah. sense. Like, it's like you're, oh, I'm just leading the 24-7 hate mob against you. I had nothing to do with that. I, yeah. It's like, okay. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. yeah. Uh, by the way, I might play some Super Chats. Let me see if I can get back. Uh, let's see. The laugh track line was great. Somebody I just saw a Super Chat say that, which is true. Uh, let's see. Guitar. Uh, okay, I think I got some. Let's try to get some in there. Is he still? Let me check, make sure he can just speak. Okay, wait. Joey Jojo sent $5. Okay, Ralph, it's time to come clean about Stardust. <laughs> we all know your tastes. Mix it or nix it. <laughs> <sighs> well, you know me. I'm race mix it, Ralph, and I got to mix it, brother. You already know. No. <laughs> I got to mix it. <laughs> <laughs> I said in chat yesterday uh, she looked like my ex-wife. Go ahead. Ralph's, Ralph's a mixologist. Bag, awful sent $3. <laughs> my junkie brother is burning in hell, and because of these America first bastards, I will be joining him. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, Jesse, come on. Uh, now, let's see. He actually made that up, by the way. He doesn't. He has a brother, but he's still alive. Uh, let's see. Oh, here goes one. Let me make sure Nick can jump back in. And 8 News sent $5 yeah, can, Metacore, Flamenco, and the Kinofags are all the biggest scumbags on the internet. Their communities are filled with nothing but nihilistic hate-filled Kiwi faggots that contribute to evil like doxing and swatting. Big T. Big T sent $20 you guys are legends in the making. Meanwhile Jim is a literal who for anyone who joined the internet since 2019. Your debate with him is going to be an assisted suicide. <laughs> Dr. Kevorkian, that's who Nick's going to be on Friday. Four foot Beardson sent $3. Stop the coke, Nick. The platforming is gay. He sent Go me money. Ferroni out of baked Alaska's he sent money to, to say that, by the way. So. <laughs> Did he send it twice? Sent $3. Did you actually Stop send that Nick. twice? The platforming that's is sad. gay. That's Go sad. eat beefaroni out of baked Alaska's ass. I might eat some beefaroni live on air today, motherfucker. Blue Eyes White Glow Iper sent $3. Funny how they always say this will be the death of America Yeah, first. I've heard that one before. I've heard that. Remember Louis mm -hmm. Thoreau? That was going to be the death. Bury Me in Dixie sent $3. Copium isn't an adequate replacement <laughs> for chemo. Jim. He's damn sure trying. These Nutsky sent $15. These freaks are laughing about swatting a home with a newborn baby. Don't ever feel bad about what happens to 100%. them. 100%. By the way, my baby was chill as fuck. She was just like that titty milk. She gets, she hits the titty milk and she's just out, dude. Like, it's like, <laughs> fuck. Now we all. You know. <laughs> Night driving Avengers sent three dollars. Oh, Metokor. Wow. If you're watching this right now, just call in. We know he won't do that. What are you afraid of? I didn't even suggest that because he's a big fucking old pussy. He won't call in, even though he's happy to jump on my shows to trash Sargon to trash everybody else back in the day. But he won't step up like a man because he's a bitch. Unconventional wisdom sent three dollars. Bring Adam Green on so a can rip Nick Scatboy hole apart like a rubber band snapped from stretching too far. I don't even know where that's coming from, but Adam Green will be on for uh, Saturday night to debate um, E. Michael Jones actually live on the kill stream, 8 p.m. Eastern. We got a mega show after the big one on Friday night. I'm going to be watching that one from Atlantic City, by the way. Holy fuck. Holy fucking hell. But I'll be back on Saturday night. And we're going big with a big debate following up on the big show with Alberto on Friday night. Fuentes versus Medicare Beardson has materialized today. Wow. Can I just say that? Go ahead, Adel. 
A dull wolf sent $3. Imagine hating life so much that you turn on someone who supported you when you were either a nobody or rock bottom. Imagine not laughing and rocking around with Ralph enjoying life. Imagine being that boring. Couldn't be me. Christ is risen. So it really is. He needs to get Jesus where it's too late. Mega foot dude sent $3. Retards are gay. Retards are gay. By the way, I saw somebody start a thread about me the other day about my Catholicism. I'm not Catholic, by the way. I went to Catholic school, though, for seven years when I was a kid. And they started a thread talking about me being Catholic, even though I'm not. But I actually am going to convert to Catholicism because uh, my fiance. I was going to do that when I was a kid anyway, but I never did. My fiance is Catholic, and so... It's just going to be easier that way, too, and so I can get Anonymous sent $3, oh, my God. Christened. Ralph, they keep calling Nick a cat boy. IT's over. I this know. is the end of America first. It's over. But, yeah, so they kind of jumped ahead of my news, Rainbow actually. Rainbow sent $3, oi, Kaba, this is true blue cunt. Once that Metoker guy dies, I'll have the snide smarmy ankle bite. Yeah, Rambot. Oh, boy. What do you think about Rambot's wife, Beardson? I, I saw I missed like most of it, but I went back and watched a little bit of, of it because that, that guy's also had like a hate boner for me for like years, like even when he was your co-host. Remember when and, he uh, went in? You got you got a divorce recently, and I've had a divorce the last couple of years myself. He thought that was the yeah. funniest thing ever, Beardson. Yeah, I know. He, he, he took a lot of pride in that. and then uh, He did. He took a lot of pride in that. I can imagine why he took pride in that. He didn't take while pride in his wife. I'll show you in a minute. There's a real organization in Sri Lanka called the Federation of University Teachers Associations. I figure Fag Ooh. Kinko would like to know where the food is are. By the way, I, I can see why he didn't take pride in this, uh, Beardson. I don't know if you can see that on your screen right now or not. By the way, we're up over 1,100 viewers just on Cozy alone. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can't even find the, the YouTube stream. Over 200 there. So that's 1,300. Almost 1,500 live yet in Odyssey here on the Tequila Sunrise. I think that's one of the bigger Tequila Sunrises in quite some time. The world's gone mad sent $3. Jim is such a retarded faggot. No wonder Fagmanko licks his ass all the time. Oh, Chat's begging me to get it off the screen. I don't know. Let, let, let it just... <laughs> Let it just ruminate there uh, for a little bit. Any commentary there? Hairline further back than Hulk Hogan's. Uh, she looks like a 1980s wrestling heel, actually, Beardson. Uh, oh. Anonymous sent $3 <laughs> to has one foot in his hair. Doesn't she? She looks like she's the new heel territory wrestler who came through town, and she's about to have a hot run and grab the local title there, and it's going to take Jerry the King Lawler to get it back. I mean, I have no comment, all right? There's no comment. I don't know what that's talking about before. That's why it's okay. Well, he wanted to talk about your – you know, he wanted to talk about other people's shit, right? Like, I mean – I mean, that is true. I mean, I do feel like I, I do have grounds to go in as hard as I, I want to. But, you know, I'm going to be the, I'm gonna be the bigger man here, not physically. You know not what? I, can I, you we know, just, I'm not in weight class, but, you know. Not bigger than this. Not a bigger. That's right. Not physically bigger than this big hoss here on the screen. Uh, that's true. But, uh, I understand what you meant there. I got it. I got the reference there. Uh, all right. Now, let's see. Anonymous sent $10, Ralph Amali. Thank you. Oh, wait, that one did play. I like it anyway. All right. Now, let's see. Um, okay, where are we at? I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss any. I think that we got most of them. I'm going to keep looking, though. Going back through. Nick just got swatted, by the way. We have a break in festivities, so I'm playing some of the uh, super All right, I'm back. There he is, by the way. I what? love to see it. I love to see it. So, uh, wow. is everything good? Yeah, we're good. We're good. I mean, it's happened so much at this point. They just call and I just go out, and it's not. It's not even a big deal, but it just goes to show this is. Uh, you know, where, where's the where's the outrage over over these tactics? You know, where's the where's the coverage of all the all the pain I've had to endure? Nobody cares, and nobody cares about your DMCA, whatever. You know. But uh, do we have any more? Do we have any more bangers from um, we have Internet a, Legend? <laughs> <laughs> we have a uh, quote tweet here. No. It does. We have a quote tweet. It says Nick's getting swatted live on air. I'm sure your laughter caused that too. And he said, "Of course, that was his." Uh, 
That was, that was his latest tweet. Boo. <laughs> Washed. He does have the air of like an old fighter. You know, I'm a boxing fan. Uh, and it's kind of like an old fighter, you know, coming back for another fight. And he's clearly outgunned, right? He's about to get hurt. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like Muhammad Ali when Larry Holmes beat the fuck out of him for people who know their history. And Larry Holmes, even after, he's like, I, I was sad. You know, I didn't want to kill. I didn't want to kill the legend in the ring, right? I had to pull back a little bit, not to just put him out. To compare, it might be a Dr. Kevorkian type situation on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. Sad. Another, another, uh, Another one of these East celebs in the graveyard of <laughs> people that went against the Groypers, really. Literally and figuratively, of course. <laughs> but we'll always honor his memory. I mean, he doesn't have to worry about that, so. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm not seeing any more bangers. Of course, you know, somebody in chat mentioned that he could just hop on. Uh, I didn't even yeah. suggest. I, I didn't even suggest it because I know he won't. But uh, you know, of course, bring, that him, on. bring him on, Jim. Sure. We know you're watching it. Come on the stream. Just hop on here. I mean, we know you're watching. You're literally watching the stream live, tweeting it like you're on your fucking computer. Just get on. Yeah, and I saw Alberto even in the chat said, "I mean, really, you should just get on here now. What's what's stopping you? Maybe he hasn't had his treatment today yet, or something. He's waiting on his. <laughs> <laughs> it's too early. It's still, it's still a little weak. Yeah, it's too early. The nurse comes well, by. Seriously, three. I mean, if he's if he's literally sitting there watching these like being smug. Oh, of course I'm watching the stream. It's like a zoo. Okay, get on the fucking stream then, dude. Get on the call." Or do another tweet, but do something. You gotta, you gotta give us something. You gotta give us something <laughs> to laugh at. Come on, do the thing. Come on, say the thing again. Say the thing. <laughs> Come on, give wait, us another. I wait, maybe we... I want to call. Get in here. What, what's going? On? Are you gonna pretend like you stopped watching or something? We all know you're fucking watching the show. You're literally yeah. live tweeting it. Then we'll put his face up there. Do it smarmy style this time. Come on, come on. Let's let's see your smarmy style. (laughs) Yeah, do the laugh. Do the laugh. Do the green shirt laugh. Come on. Come on, do it. Make some content for us, bitch. Make a tweet. <laughs> Give us another banger. Or, or get on the call. I don't know. Is he really going to not? Is he going to pretend like he's not watching? Like, he's literally live tweeting it, and then he's literally going to sit here and listen to this. And are, are we going to hear a reason why? Or is he going to say, like, oh, I, uh, I wasn't watching it that part? Like, come on now. Yeah, it's pretty pathetic. And then it's the same thing. And then he's the other day he was saying to me, oh, Ralph's scared to get on the call. Ralph's scared to do this. And I just got on a call with him on Monday Match Show a couple months ago. And then, he, you know, he's scared, basically. Any type of uh, environment that's not controlled, he won't come into now. Uh, he's just like a panel like we did yesterday. He wouldn't go into something like that. Get, get rock. Like he just, he just want. Oh, Michael Alberto wants on. Okay, I'll send you the. I'll send you the. Oh, are you in the Telegram? You can just come on there. Yeah, there you are. In. Oh, I see him there. Okay, sorry, I didn't see. You. Uh, uh, what's up? Listen, these SJWs aren't gonna own themselves, Nick. He's got. He's got. Uh... <laughs> he's got a lot of important work. It's about he just ethics. tweeted again. Okay. I'll, what I'll is it? He said, Jim, jump on now. With those numbers, I can understand why he's desperate and it's showing all the uh, the cozy streamers uh, view count right now. See, now you're just hiding. Now you're just hiding behind that. I mean, if he wanted to do this now, I mean, he doesn't like using apps like Telegram, so he would have to... Well, I have a stream. Google... Yeah, I know how he rolls. I have a Google Meet link, of course. Uh, you know what? I'll go ahead and make one. Yeah, come on. Let's do it then. I'll go ahead and make one. I'll give it to you, Michael. Um, I don't have a lot of faith well, in the old man anymore. Yard? But... I don't, I don't want to risk uh, getting a uh, shit can. Stream yard? No, it's my. Oh, you mean. Uh, what? Oh, you think there's a risk for using the hangout? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, well, don't yeah, I'm fine with stream yard. Can you just make a stream yard then? Well, yeah, I'll make one. I was just testing it out. We got it working, but, you know, we got to wait for him to approve or not. So it's all Okay, we'll make a stream yard. I'm fine with that. Um, and you can run the call if you want. Pussy cope. 
It's so pathetic. Like he's literally he's literally watching the stream. Oh, with numbers like that, you're just desperate. You're literally live tweeting the fucking stream, you faggot. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're just desperate to have me on. Oh, you're watching it and live tweeting it, you fucking idiot. You live tweeted it last night. You live tweeted it this morning, and now you're li you live tweeted my Telegram posts, and now you're live tweeting the stream that I jumped on. At two o'clock in the afternoon, and then he, oh, 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 oh mad, uh, desperate, uh, <laughs> it's, it's getting to you. Like, come on, nigga, like just get on the fucking stream. Then we, <laughs> we know you're watching it, so just jump on. I mean, why not? And by the way, uh, you can you can do it, Michael, where you control the audio. If he's worried about me muting him or whatever, it can be piped through. Can't you pipe audio through your? Headset. Or yeah, we, we okay. were testing it earlier, okay. so I'll just make a stream yard. We'll put it on my record mode, and then I'll just like stream. Uh, yeah, you should. Yeah, you should be. Able, if you can pipe the audio through, then I don't have to touch it. I don't have to control his audio at all, and and you can be the MC on that. Yeah, that's what you guys like. Go at it, and then I'll. Yep. I'll only I'm like intervene if like you guys are like talking over each other. And we're not getting anywhere, you know. I'm fine with that. Let's go now. Like I don't see a problem with it. I'm sure he's got yeah, a reason not go. to. Yeah, I'll just uh, I'll just dip out so you guys can because I want to watch. All right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. yeah, seems like a couple people have been like tweeting at me considering uh, coming on too. We had uh, I think PPP tweeted at me about it. He wanted to come on. Uh, just bring them all. It's 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 yeah, time. I don't give a fuck. Wanted, was maybe interested in coming on. We but Medicare is there. the one. You know what? That's the one we're talking about. But I mean, you know. Yeah, I'm not uh, like afterwards for some. It's extra time to content. settle all all family affairs. I don't give a fuck. <clears throat> well, shit. If we're gonna have a big hoedown, then I guess I'll stick around. Fuck it. It's like the end of the Godfather. Yeah, I guess this is happening. There's no reason why it wouldn't, right? I mean, if he's sitting there watching this for an hour and live tweeting it, like, there's no reason why it wouldn't just get on. I mean, this is your job, right? Isn't it your job to fake laugh at <laughs> unfunny John Stewart jokes? So, I mean, what's the hold up? Are we just going to get more of these gay tweets? We're waiting four minutes since the last tweet. We'll see. Um, we could put a theme, maybe the Jeopardy theme on in the background while he decides. But, uh, you know, it's here. Well, we got another tweet. At least we got another tweet, right? <laughs> oh, well, not yet. Not yet. We still have the last one where he shows the numbers. And he, I guess it's not, not enough people for him. <laughs> Um, he was on a 300 person Twitch stream. His this like way. millennial faggot audience is watching the Twitter and like, I, like on what planet do people think that this is like an own, you know, like people are watching these like quote unquote jokes come in and it's like, that's what he said. A, a cat and a pig sounds like a zoo. And like millennials are like, man, Nick is getting lit up right now. Medica's <laughs> right now. And he's saying like, he's saying like Nick said, suck my dick to like a guy. And that's not the first time he's said that oh you got the cocky griper bros he's getting up right now he's live tweeting the stream and it's pure gold he said he said they were having group therapy session dude oh, dude oh my gosh i can't believe it like I wonder, on what planet is that like this planet millennial planet planet daily show <laughs> seriously oh he just tweeted Okay, let me... oh, here we go. Another banger incoming. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Let's see. Nick, stop begging. It's sad. I already agreed to Friday after he asked me. You'll just have to wait. See, what? Okay. that's not even funny, nigga. Like, is that even supposed to be a joke or what? Well, he might I die between now and Friday. We're worried. You, we're worried you might not make it, Jim. You, you don't know how much time you have left. So, I don't know. That's pathetic. Like, a guy who's sitting here live tweeting. Um,. Acting like he's above it all. Of course, that's his whole gimmick. So, such a faggot, faggot, faggot. So, Nick, what is your beef with Medicare? Because I remember last night you said you didn't really have an issue with him. But yeah, I said I didn't have a personal beef with him, but I just think his whole style is uh, totally cringe. Which I've been getting into it uh, during this stream. It's just this, and again, like. I haven't talked to this guy since he was on my show like four years ago or something. Um, 
and he we're in different worlds like he's in the drama world i'm in the politics world like i haven't even seen anything from him probably in four or five years but i just said on the ralph stream or the uh whatever my it was my stream <laughs> it was my stream uh on my stream with ralph the other day that his whole style because it's like came out of the flamenco thing i don't really care about flamenco but it came out of that like people like Jim are going to act. And it's like I said, it's a very Gen X, like millennial, like, like I said, John Stewart, atheist type thing where they, they look at somebody like Ralph and it's like this, uh, Oh, we're like, so above it all. We, we've got like this moral high ground. We're going to come in and like, say, Oh, like you're, you're a goof. You're this, you're that. And it's like this smugness, this aloofness, like you're, you're like, your job is to be in an internet cesspool. I do like bottom of the barrel, like, ju like junk content. Like it's not funny. It's not particularly funny or interesting. These streams are just, again, it's like you're talking about internet live stream drama. Like it's a trash fire. Okay, your job is to follow trash fires, you know? It's like, oh, Ethan Ralph and these people are goofy. Okay, your job is literally to report on goofy people. Like that. that's your life. And whatever, you know, I, I don't judge, but... Then he's going to act like, oh, but I'm like above it all. Like, I, yeah, I, because I'm the chaser, like I'm, I'm like above all that. Yeah, I chase trash fires and cover trash fires for trannies on the Internet, for these other losers that follow this stuff. But I'm like above it all. I'm like, you know, a moral high ground or something. So I just said I think that's very uh, I think it's very gay. Um, and I said, what I like about Ralph is he just is who he is. There's no pretension. There's no, there's no aloofness. There's no smugness. He knows it is what it is. Like he does what he does and he's not like, Oh, what I do is like, I have this moral high ground or something. Um, which I prefer that over people, especially with the flamenco thing where the guy's going to cry about a DMCA shit happens to me all the time. And you know, I'm not crying like, oh, that's not fair. Like, I'm, we're, we're fighting. Like, when I fight with the political left, it's a fight. Like, I get why left-wing people would censor me. I'm not crying foul like, you broke the rules. I'm saying like, yeah, this shouldn't be allowed to happen. We have to adapt. Like, this is wrong as a society that this is happening. Um, but, but these people, like, their whole community is about malicious harassment and even if flamenco and what's his name jim don't participate in it like they they create this culture where rape allegations fly swatting happens all this uh and it's really it's just like targeted malicious harassment again which is whatever but then shit comes back the other way and they go what you you're trying to you're gmca me this is not fair that's my content man and it's like well your content is like trying to ruin somebody's life like let's just be straight about it your job is to go and try and sabotage and ruin people's lives those people retaliate in a way that you think is like unethical or something it's breaking some unwritten code and then you're going to cry about it and i just think it's like what the fuck are you crying about your job is to gossip you're a fucking gossiper and gossip is scum you know any any famous person will tell you the the bloggers the gossipers these people are fucking scum and uh you know it's like paparazzi tier gossip tier stuff and uh you know and it's same thing like when kanye punches a, a paparazzi guy oh he's a maniac he's a monster it's it's like the same thing these people are parasite leeches uh and fuck them so that i mean that that's the gist of it true so true but i think i kind of get what you're so your position is just basically you think the being ethical i guess i don't want to like this word in like, like a bad way they're but, fake. Uh, They're fake people. And that's the problem. It's the fakery. I said it earlier. If he would just say, oh, I'm out here trying to ruin somebody. I'm out here trying to ruin Ralph. I'm fucking with him every day. I don't care what happens to Ralph. I don't care if he gets swatted. Fuck him. He's a fat piece of shit. I would definitely respect that more than, oh, I don't do that. Oh, we don't do that. Yeah, you do. You do, actually. You cheer it on. You're the leader of the mob that's doing shit like that. And, you know, you can't act holier than thou and, and like, you're fucking better than somebody else. Especially when you, well, you, know, it's, you know, have it's, a history it's like, like what, you do. what do they do outside of that? They, they have nothing. Their content is nothing outside of basically leading hate mobs against people, essentially, right? Like, they're not entertaining. They're not, like, like just naturally funny. Uh, the only humor that comes out of uh, any of their content is, like, the, you know, missteps or the downfall of, like, someone else's life or whatever, right? Like, all they try to do is, is essentially weaponize shit that, like, uh, you know, it's just, like, real human being shit, right, essentially. 
They want to sit there and just laugh at every fucking misstep, every little fucking turn of phrase that you said. They obsess and basically stalk you forever. And then, you know, then, like, they wipe their hands clean of it if anything bad actually happens, right? right. It's like, fuck these people, man. They're fucking scumbags. Yeah, it's just, it's just like nihilistic. It's just these people are totally like nihilistic and like this. It, it's true. We we have this like culture that is so anti real human being because of shit like this and everything is gossip. I just hate gossip. I hate gossipy like again the rumor mill like that that is just so low can we just say straight up like yeah you can chortle you can do the green polo shirt laugh and everything but gossip and slander and all that stuff is just it's fucking gay you know and and again whatever uh it's been there it's you know anytime you're anybody there's going to be gossip and there's going to be people spreading rumors and whatever um but but then the richness is not even like, oh, like that's fucked up. It is what it is. That's called humanity. It's always been that way. But then they're gonna they're gonna cry when there's like reta- that's that's the part where I'm like, oh, come the fuck on now. Now you're gonna <laughs> yeah. like flamenco. He's gonna cry about this DMCA. Oh, that's not fair. You can't do that to me. It's like you're you're literally on a live stream accusing somebody of rape. Okay, somebody that like you don't really know. Like just some internet guy. Uh, and, and like th- this, like, oh, I'm going to like exploit your life and exploit negativity in your life to like make money, like talking, gossiping about that to other people online. Oh, what? You DMCA'd me? Oh, what, what? I was just making content. It's like, fuck you, you know? So that, and that's, that's the gist of what I'm saying. And I do this, and I said, yeah, I report people all the time. People literally create Twitter accounts maliciously to dox me, to to report my stuff, whatever. You report back, and then it's, wait a second, I thought you believed in free speech. I don't. We're in a war, okay? I believe in my side. I always have. I believe in America first. I believe in the Groypers. I believe in God. I believe in America. I believe in me. And I'm for my side. And so they, they, they do this shit where it's like, oh, you're, you're destroying your enemies that's how you lose no fuck you so um yeah so anyway that's that's a ramble on but i mean that shit is just so gay like let's just hold up a a mirror to what your whole mo is and uh you know and then just stop crying you know i was trying to cover your rape allegations and then you dmca'd me oh yeah it sounds like (laughs) sounds like that's kind of fair actually i sounds like you know you got what's coming to you basically I couldn't agree more. I don't. Uh, and then, and then after it's the it's the fakery too. After oh well, I wasn't saying that. I wasn't doing that. Why are you so mad? I'm just a humble content creator. What did you say earlier? Uh, what the content creator cries out in pain? Is he like the drama YouTuber cries out in pain as they swat you? Yeah, it's it's that yeah. type of shit. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I literally, and everybody on this platform is being swatted now. I mean, like, we, we have had, like, 10 people get swatted multiple times each, and where where is the so-called drama community talking about, like, how unethical that is and how, you know, well, you may not like Nick or you think he's a, oh, the pig and the cowboy, it's like a farm out here, whatever, like, uh, you know, but where, where's the comment where they say, oh, whatever, but that, like, that's really messed up. I don't think anybody actually said anything about that. I think they create a community where that kind of stuff happens, you know? I mean, like, isn't isn't Jim friends with the guy that runs Kiwi Farms where all these doxes are posted? Like, so again, it's not to say, you know, one individual is responsible. You know, hey, faggot Jim, we didn't say that you are swatting us, but it's about <laughs> the kind of gossip, paparazzi, bullshit culture that you, that you're, that's your life, faggot. That's your legacy. Hey, death is knocking on your doorstep, and when you die, everyone's going to talk about how in 2014 you made a really funny internet drama video. Hilarious, dude. Um, but whatever. Um, but these... <laughs> I mean, these people, then they're going to do all that stuff where they're, they're making these streams. They create this community again, where Kiwi farms is part of that. And, and you get the uh, hate mob on Twitter, you get the hate mob on YouTube, whatever. And then yeah, people get docs, then people get swatted, whatever. And then they turn around and go, Oh, what? I didn't have anything to do with that. I was just doing, I was basically just promulgating the hate and the harassment and the gossip that led to all of that. It's like, again, it's like Beardson said, you can't just wash your hands of all that. And then now suddenly we have an ethical code. You want to have an ethical code, get a real job. You know, here's an ethical code for you. 
find God, give up your life of gossip and actually just make content. I make funny content and it's not gossipy. You know, my show every night is about current events. My show every night is about the news. You know, it's not, it's not, Hey, look at, look at this uh, trailer trash guy whose life is falling apart. (laughs) Chortling, making Jon Stewart tear jokes. You know, so here's a little piece of advice. Stop with the gossip bullshit. And then, you know, the DMCA's don't happen or whatever. Like, so, so you, you roll around in the mud with pigs and then you get mad that you're dirty, you know? By the way, Alberto, you still here? Oh, yeah, I'm still here. I just okay. don't really have anything to add. I'm just letting Nick uh, go off. Yeah, it's hard to follow Nick up after that, you know? It's like... <laughs> <laughs> he just goes on like a 10-minute like a tirade. It's like I don't even know how to respond. Yeah, sorry. I, I always fall into the habit of just like, not logging. <laughs> no, I'm here for it. I'm loving it. <laughs> Any conversation I'm in, like... <laughs> I'm going to hear you uh, go into Medicare and hype up this uh, debate that's going to be happening. It's going to be happening on Friday now. I thought there was a chance it was going to happen today. Because you know th- this is going on right now, but I guess. Uh, nah, he's guess too cowardly. To he's too cowardly for that. I mean, I don't know. No, he needs to prepare. He needs to prepare for Friday, and he needs to check out the Kiwi Farm strat. Hmm, let me let me load up on all the cheap, low hanging callbacks. So when he's ready, he could do some you know parks and recreation tier jokes about cowboy and whatever the fuck else, right? Yeah, no, he's gonna sit here and watch the stream. Faggot's gonna sit here and watch. Oh, dear, give me. Nigga, you're watching it, you little bitch. But he's like, oh no, but I need time. I need time to prepare. I need to write my Google Doc or whatever. <laughs> so it's just whatever. I, you know, prepare. Don't prepare. It's over for you, pal. Your shit stinks. Okay, you come around, act like your shit doesn't stink. It does. You're fucking old. You're washed. You're not funny anymore. You still believe in COVID. Uh, you know. And you're not you're not funny. That's at the end of the day. I never like Medicare because I don't think he's funny. I don't think his again. It is like millennial Tosh. It's literally Tosh point oh. It's like Tosh point oh amateur hour bullshit, and it's not funny. And that is the most offensive thing about him to me is that it's like reminds me of Dane Cook special. Reminds me of like the dumbest kid in my grade in, in middle school showing me Comedy Central shows. Like that is what his humor reminds me of. Dane Cook. <laughs> hey, since my, uh, since my mentions are being blown up about this, am I allowed to bring in other people too after you and Jim go at it for a bit? In the uh, on Friday, yeah, people, people yeah, people want to see me also bring in like PPP and people like that. Oh, the fat guy with his balls on the internet? Nah, I uh, think I'm good. I think I. I think I'm good. It's mainly up to you guys. I don't even know who PPP is. I know Worski, but what what is what is PPP's background? I'm just curious. Uh, I just I, know him as the I can tell you, guy with his I can ass tell you, on the internet. I can tell you. So he spread his asshole on New Year's Eve 2016, I think. Uh, and that was on stream.me. No, excuse me, 2018. That's right, stream.me. And so we were brought we, – I didn't show it live. He got kicked off stream.me for that. We laughed about it. Then he made up this lie about me getting getting him kicked out of his church, which I did not do, and he just completely made that up, and he still runs with that to this day. Uh, and so that's kind of his starting lore, I guess, and he's been just spreading lies about me, attacking my dead father. Uh, he's got, like, this skit where he dresses – up and claims he's my dead father and all that stuff uh and you know these are the people talking about dmcas being too far by the way these are the people saying dmcas are out of line this guy dressing up and and doing a mockery of my dead father uh, is the one who's uh the moral police online by the way um so he's that type of guy and of course he's been saying crazy shit about you in america first for quite some time uh baked i guess he's went after him too so yeah, well, I, I consider them part of the America First universe in a sense. I consider the Kino Casino. It's basically part of the AF universe. It's like the it's like the opposition media. And honestly, you would like if you were an alien or an outsider, you would think that like PPP works for me because like 
imagine there's all this animosity against America first. And like the main show that hates on us is like a guy that looks like PPP, no further elaboration necessary. And Andy Borsky, like the dumbest man on the internet. So it's like, here's just a first. Here's like this juggernaut. It's like Pack 3, 1,200 people, Cozy TV, bigger than D Live, just like unstoppable success. And then, and let's take a look at the loyal opposition. And it's like this fat guy with his asshole out and then the dumbest man on the internet. Oh, oh, hey guys, me Andy Worski. I'm like doing cocaine and shit. Like, yeah, okay. So, I mean, if, if, if that didn't exist, we would have to make it. If Kino Casino didn't exist, we would literally make something like that. We'd, where's the fattest and dumbest person we know and let's have them start a show attacking us. Uh, you know, so, I mean, like, they're part, as far as I'm concerned, they're part of the family. <laughs> <laughs> Kino Casino to America First Pipeline. I, I like it. I don't report that. I don't report them. I'll report other people, but not them. They're doing a great job. Every every house has a toilet in it, right? Like, you got to have at least some sort of containment unit, you know, for your sewage, right? It's a good job for that, honestly, because, like, the people that watch that show are, are not people that we want around anyways, right? So it's a, it's a good containment unit. It's like, uh, you know. Well, that's another thing. Yeah, it's I'm like another world. I talked about this yesterday, but they came over to Cozy and Flamenco and all these people, and they're repeating that same bullshit. And, you know, Big Tech was on the panel. Others in the chat, they're just like, fuck you. Fuck you, motherfucker. And it's like they're, like, startled that it's like that. You know what I mean? Like they're used to this this bullshit fucking cry bully tactics to be taken seriously. Uh, and then when somebody tells you, no, nah, just don't give a fuck. Fuck you. Fuck off. Die. They... You know, they're taking it back. Oh, my God. How can he say that? How can he say that? How can he how can he say anything goes after they've been, you know, practicing anything goes the whole time? So. Also, the cigar is damn good. I have to say. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. It's like, uh, you know, these people just like lie and slander and then like, it's just funny. It's just funny to watch them get mad about something. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like these people act so aloof, like all the time about everything, like lies, slanders, doxing, uh, you know, revealing personal information. Oh, that's fine. And then like, this is like the thing that they freak out about. And they're like, all right, guys, it's time to get serious. Now they're, they're taking down our YouTube videos. <laughs> we can't have this. You know, it's like, what the fuck? Like, what is like? These people are sick in the head. I mean, this is what happens when you are just like terminally online to the point where like your fucking brain doesn't work anymore. You know, drama YouTubers is a fucking scum of the planet. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Um, just the, the 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 dichotomy there. By the way, I'm looking at my tweet about Coach Red Pill. That thing has like two hundred thousand views. Where I pissed on his grave. There, I'm getting some tweets, <laughs> some responses to that. <laughs> Holy shit! They're saying it's one of the most savage tweets of all time. If he is dead, I think it, I think it does have to go into the Hall of Fame. Actually, oh yeah, if he's <laughs> dead, Hall of Famer. Oh uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's a real Hall of Famer if he's actually dead. <laughs> now, if he pulls a Lazarus, uh, you know, I'm gonna laugh about it. But man, if he actually did kick the bucket, dude, this is an all-timer. Uh, so I hope he's dead just so that tweet enters the Hall of Fame. Ooh, that's so cack. Mm. All right. I got to go. Man. But hey, thanks for Appreciate having me on. It was no fun. Problem, man. I guess I'll see you guys Friday night, 8 o'clock. Dude, it's it's so over. He's so It's so washed, and he's so over. It's I'm finishing him off. It's done. Game over. Pause. <laughs> finishing him off. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's actually funny. Okay, you don't, you're not going to hear that on John Steve. But, but yeah, all right, I'll Old I'll yeller time. Later. We're, we're going to pause for an uh, incoming medic tweet here. It's coming. Just wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> coming. Wait, hold on. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> <laughs> later, man. Thank you. Kind of humor that he'll never get. But, all right. Well, I'll, I'll see you guys later. All right. All right see you, buddy. Right, Peace. Bye-bye. Well, business really picked up all of a sudden, Beards, and you know how it goes, man. You know how it yeah, goes. Hey, it is what it is, man, you know. Yes. Once you're up, sometimes you're down, sometimes you're up, but you're never out of the game, you know it. That's right. It's a cyclical business. I tried to explain it to the marks, but they don't understand. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.